All right, here we are at 1.15 sunset up in that Loma Verde subdivision. One thing I like is an asphalt driveway coming into the two-car garage. It seems to be covered nicely as well. Combination of wood siding and stucco, I believe. Nice covered entrance as well. Overlook the next home. In the front, that view of Bali. It is right now about 10.30. I'm standing in the sun. This is probably facing southish, southeastish, depending. Or actually, that's red. Baldy is over here. Kind of come into the entry, which is tracks or some sort of composite decking with some nice landscaping kind of going down really kind of a lovely setting all right now we have come in the front door there are two dogs in here I can't really open the front door to show the entrance, but here we go. Closet kind of at the entry here. There is more stuff in this house than maybe I've ever seen. It's going to look small on video, but it is a little bit bigger than what it looks like. As you come in, Stairwells going upstairs and downstairs. To the right is a pretty ample living space if it didn't have as much stuff in it. it does take a little imagination to see everything gone, but pretty massive views. Um, take a step back from the window. Hardwoods, just to give an idea of how actually tall this ceiling is. Kind of coming around, there is a gas fireplace, kind of a central focal point. Again, the height. Um, now looking more northish or eastish, depending. Some baldy views out to the deck with the hot tub. And down. We're going to come past the stairwell again into the kitchen and dining. Again, a, a larger space than it probably looks like because there is a lot of stuff. We'll eat in bar and exit to the deck or patio actually. Let's see if I can get the kitchen backsplash, the granite. And kind of an overview. And a decent little pantry. I'm going to do another view. This is 
kitchen, living, dining area from the kind of other direction. Exiting, you have your main floor powder room. Laundry, a little vestibule entry, mudroom area into Like everything else in this house, a whole lot bigger than it looks with all the stuff in it. The end is covered in cabinetry. A ton of storage space out here. And a door back there to the mechanical. So coming in from the garage, we've seen this. So here will be a separate den-ish kind of area. Another large rock fireplace, gas. Actually, that might actually be wood. Sorry. This has kind of an angled roof line down the hardwoods onto concrete. That is a wood fireplace. I'm gonna do a little spin just to get an idea. Boy, furniture placement would go a long way. But this door takes us out to the deck, which is a uh, very nice size. Composite decking material. Two tables are out here. Uh, chipmunks feeding out of the bird feeder. Hot tub area. And this is a little of the exterior topography. Nice vistas. And the exterior of the home. walk back through and head upstairs. This area kind of overlooks the entry and the main floor dent living area. This is a big loft kind of area. You're using it for sitting, a really substantial storage desk, office area. Turn down this kind of hallway into one of the guest bedrooms. I'd say it's at least an eight foot ceiling. This is a, might be a king, it's a queen size bed. This is actually, again, a bigger room than it looks. Um, Nice size closet there into the full bath shower. Uh, 
back down the hall, which could be a lot wider with all this furniture. Another little seating area outside, uh, which uh, hard to tell would probably have some afternoon sun, but a really quiet, tranquil space. Into the master bedroom. I'm going to show you the closet first. It's pretty good size. And now the master bedroom, which again is big, would be even bigger with a few less pieces of furniture. Say about an eight foot ceiling. from this angle. And the view is pretty stinking amazing. Alright, so now linen closet in the bedroom. Large double Vanity, tub, jetted, light fixture, huge standing shower, and a lavatory area. All right, we're going to go back down the hallway. over that living area again. At the bottom of the stairs, Place to hide some pipes, little linen closet, storage closet kind of a thing. Into the downstairs guest. A little seating area in the bathroom. These things are taller, probably nine foot down here. Two bathroom with tub. It's not overly big, but it's definitely big enough to get the job done. into one of the downstairs guest rooms. Nice sized room. Closet. The doors and the trim in the house pretty much match. This is a kind of a good view of what they look like. That kind of finish. With the hardware. This is mainly concrete down here as well. This is the tiny room. There is a closet, and this room is lined with a bookshelf, so it's making kind of a small room look even smaller. Uh, but you could definitely turn this into a bunk room and kind of sleep a bunch, a few people. Not a ton of room down here, but just a good sleeping space. So that will kind of exit and head back up these stairs. And that's it.